I graduated high school in 2008. 2008, I just walked from my graduation from Rowan University this year. 2019, 11 years later, I just walked. I just walked. So the destination, it never changed, but now I'm gonna have to maneuver through all these different situations. And throughout that process, I went through anxiety attacks, uh, suicidal thoughts, all types of stuff. And if it wasn't for individuals like, you know, my best friend and my brother Les and my fiance, who was my girlfriend at the time, and my other best friend, Tone, just talking to me, getting me out of my situation, telling me, you know, just, just bigging me up, being like a hype man for me, but also listening to me and comforting me, not judging me because of what I was going through, not judging me because I gave up two full ride scholarships that, you know, are impossible to come by. But then when I got to Rowan, you know, and I walked this year, it meant so much more to me. Like I didn't just go smooth through four years, bam, nothing happened, it was all good. I played ball at the All-Star, nah, I went through 11 years, 11 years of trying to figure it out, jumping from school to school to school because I attached myself to the game of basketball because I thought that was the only way to help my mom out. Not realizing that I was going through all of those different things because I had to build up a story for what I was really put here to do, which is ultimately what I'm doing now. And now I'm in a position to get to that destination, to fulfill that dream that I had since I was two years old. A lot of people don't know what they want to do at two years old, but in my mind, in my heart, I knew that I wanted to get us out that situation. So that's why I'm going so hard at what I'm doing now. That's why I didn't quit. I was broken for a while, for a long time. I was so broken, I was so hurt, just seeking, always asking, why me, why me, why me? But then I realized that I had to change my behavior, or I gotta change the dream. I gotta change my behavior or my mom ain't getting out that situation. My youngest brother, who's five, he's not getting out that situation. My niece and nephew that my, uh, my brother that's four years younger than me just had, they're not gonna get out that situation. If I don't change my behavior, because if I don't do that, I gotta change the dream. I gotta let go of that and they're gonna struggle for that. But I wanna be that trailblazer for my family. I wanna be that one that opens the door for them so they don't have to go through the same situations that I went through those same obstacles. I can lead them through that. I can bust that door wide open. Like, look, I got y'all. Y'all gonna make y'all own mistakes, but y'all not gonna struggle like how I had to struggle. Once I realized again that change my behavior or change my dream, it was like, yo, I'm not changing my dream. You feel me? I'm not changing the dream for nobody. I don't care what I gotta do. I'm not changing the dream, but I changed my behavior. I self-published my first book. I went out there, I did it, I told my story. I used it as a healing process. I did the work. Everything that I had went through, it made the story that much better. It's the reason why I can get booked to go speak at a university. It made the story that much better. I didn't just come in like, I just wrote this book and then, you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing deep in it, you know, I just kind of went through school, school. Nobody want to hear that. Think about the movies that you